What's up, Stain Mode? Chuck here at VMP, and we're sending you a little bit of a care package for your car. You uh, you told us you wanted to turn it up a little bit more, want a little bit more boost. We're gonna be sending you this 72 millimeter pulley, and along with that, the upgrade attentioner for the oven kits. Uh, this 72, compared to the 79 you're running right now, is gonna take you from about 15 PSI to about 17 and a half, maybe 18, depending on how high you're gonna rev the car. But uh, the upgrade attention is going to keep that belt tension with the smaller pulley, making sure you don't have any belt slip, and uh, yeah, should be a nice little boost in the power. We're excited to see what you do with it, and uh, enjoy. What is up, fam? This message finds you all wonker spirits. We are headed to a track rental. That's right. So excited. We have the Mamba is here on the new VMP lower 72 mil pulley. This right here is the stock tensioner that removed and our big old, this is like a wagon wheel. No, I'm just kidding. This is a 79 mil that we did 9.4 on. From a 79 to a 72 mil pulley. So we're gonna go from 15 pounds to 18 uh, pounds. Oh. There's a tensioner and the new pulley. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so nice. I'm just saying. Uh, 9.4 at 150. <laughs> so we're, yes, I was just LM engines today. <laughs> Got it. All right, guys, we have officially pulled down for the first time ever. So let's see what happens tomorrow. We were just at L&M Engines. Maybe you were foreshadowing. This is good for about up to 18, 17, 18 pounds of boost. So we were, we were about anywhere from 13 to 15 with the 79 mil. Now we're at 72. And again, see the link in the script. Uh, I mean, VMP has sent us the... Upgraded uh, pulley tensioner and there's their 72 mil pulley. So we'll see what happens. This does not require retune but uh, We're gonna get the results and see what it does first start up on the new pulley here Let's See it looks like So we're excited. So we'll see what happens. Todd's with me. He's driving the Hulk. Let's get it. Double coast on the count of three, right? One, two, three. All right, guys. So we are headed to a rental. We have the Mamba set up. Ready to go. See what we can do with a smaller pulley.
two passes two crappies because i'm blowing the tires off sadly so the lower tire pressure try to put some more glue down that's my bad i need to get et street r's instead of ss's um we did do the 9.5 and 9.4 on the et street ss but now that we've turned the boost up by lowering the pulley this the tires ain't holding um but i want to show you guys the car we'll probably leave at a lower rpm so they kind of hold and just kind of make a clean pass so, never end, let's go. Get these hats. Yeah, I'm blowing the tires off, man. <laughs> That's my bad, I shouldn't have any. Too, too much power, power, baby, too much power. Instead of risking the car and any, you know, stupid kind of damage, we're just going to call it here. Um, I'm just going to have to wait till I get eight, a better tire set up. Um, the car went 9.4. I'm imagining it's going to go low nines with this setup. So we're just going to call it and uh, wait till we get uh, some ET Street R's and then send it. Sometimes, you know, I personally get so excited and I forget the small things. All right, so let me explain some things to the people who aren't seasoned drag racers and may have some questions. Uh, so basically, yes, Mamba was hooking on the tire setup it had now before, 9.5, 9.4s at 150 all day long. Uh, and that was with the ET Street SS, which was even pushing it at that tire. Uh, the right tire has ET Street R. Um, and I should have known. I thought, hey, we, we might be able to go down, you know, it was, my, it was my fault. Basically what happens is this. When you pull it down, you're able to raise your boost level. So we went from about, oh, anywhere from 13 to 15 pounds on the 79 millimeter uh, pulley to 72 mil. We went down, like we went up to like maybe 15, 17 to 18 pounds of boost. So those percentages might not seem much, but you know, obviously you can see what happens. Uh, we gotta get a better tire set up. So, totally my fault but you know that's what happens when you just manipulate a car a little bit as far as the tweak is concerned that's what happens so uh we're gonna head home and wait for our new tire set to come in and uh just got egg on my face right now but hey that's we don't uh we don't hide our story we share it and we'll continue to do that um this car is fast and we have to compensate with the correct uh setups now so we will get a better tire set up. We will get uh, some R's on here and go from there. I should have known. All my buddies, I know, I'm like, well, I told you. You get you, you get the day on this one. Some tips. If you find yourself spinning at the line, don't slam the brakes. Don't get into it. Just let off and steer. And you'll, you'll, you won't you'll you 
won't go into a wall, you won't, you know, it's not worth it, especially by yourself. Just let out is the key. Um, but anywho, we'll go from there. GG15 giveaway is live, Venom is live. Please like and subscribe because you know it never ends. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Well, guys, look at this, man. We're here at Casper's. They're laying down the strip. Here we go, man. Big things. If you guys also don't know, they cut down the trees there. That is pretty exciting. But, yeah, here it is, man. We'll be testing our burnouts. We'll be testing our... 60 so when we get to a rental we won't have any problems oh yeah baby that's the plan i'm his son all right nice to meet you man oh this looks good yeah I'm trying to get it done no man i'm excited it'd be good to know what you got too before you go to a rental or a test and tune you know yep. this is really good Wow, guys, look at this. You want to shout out the company and all that good stuff? Okay. And what is this exactly, this, this process right now? What's the plan? What's going on? Uh, we put a base in it, then we went over with uh, top. Two inches of top press. All right. Uh, trying to finish up here for me. Alright, let's see. How long is this whole strip? Like uh, 327. So we got 327 feet here. One of the guys coming out with concrete pad. Okay, yeah, so just so you know there's gonna be a concrete pad back That's there. For That's for launching, okay. This is just kinda like so you can launch there and come down. So this is pretty exciting. Right, so as you can see, big things are happening here. There are Todd's put down this strip. So, for example, I went to a, uh, a just to show you that, you know, learn from my stupidity. This is why this is so valuable. I thought I pulled it down on the Mamba and we couldn't get traction. And look, I could have tested it out here at Casper's brand new burnout slash uh, drag strip test site. So, that's what we're doing here. But yeah, go have a concrete pad. We'll be able to send it down the strip and then of course we'll be here we're gonna have a, our own stang mode like office and a little shop here so this is exciting stuff big things are happening but uh really cool look at all this equipment man so right here will be a new site for like garage doors we're gonna have a dyno here and then over here we'll have our little burnout box and pad look at this man big things College Mamba's over there. Whoever you hire is like done in five minutes. <laughs> this looks good. He was, his son was telling me all about the process and okay, uh, cool. you know what they're putting down, the two inch thick, the cement pad in the back. Nice. So that's gonna be good. Um, yeah, I, I was saying, why is this so good? It's like case in point. I don't know if I told you, but yes, I went to a rental. Right. I couldn't get Mamba to hook. Really? We pulled it down, but we had a tire that we should we should have had a better tire. So I, I didn't have to waste the whole rental. Yeah, yeah. I could have came here, yeah, tested it out, and known the tires would have yeah. blown off. So get it the whole it's going exactly. To the so that's why. So this that that was exactly why this is important. And especially with Akron not being in the backyard no more. Yeah, this is exactly. This so is this so will, valuable. This will take the edge off of us. Well, you know what happened with the Mamba? We ran nine fours with the tire setup. Okay. We pulled it down. You guys pulled it down for me. Right. And it was blowing off the tire just like that. Wow. So we needed to get an ET Street R instead of an SS, but we would have been able to test yeah, that we right here. Tire pressures. We could have messed with tire pressure, yeah, we don't, we don't tune, yep. Every car is different. And you know what you could do too for some customers who want, uh, they get their, their pulley in, right. they want to do a quick data log, yeah. just do a little burnout and do a quick yeah. uh, full throttle pull, and there you go. Yep. So it's coming yeah, together. And if you guys remember, haven't seen, these, these trees were all cut as well. So it'll be a fence over here. And the coup de grace is still coming. We have a Christmas tree in there. Oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah, coming yeah. together. Yeah. It's going to be pretty fun, guys. So there'll be a nice... definitely something to do. Yeah, this is going to be so... 
there's always gonna be something happening here, always something fun. And something else will just feature some cars. Just yeah. Some cars. Uh, it's it really is a smart process, and I think it'll be a good time. And remember, there's still gonna be a whole other high end shop section here, so we will have cars and coffee, things of that nature. So that was, this is fast. Yeah. Like uh, French goes up uh, Wednesday. I think it's gonna come in. All right. And all your guys are racers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy, um, we built a truck back room a long time ago. He's got, his truck's actually on the premises. Gotcha. He's got the SS 454. All right, all right, which cool. Is, uh, dally driven, low 10 second 454. Wow. On Sprite. Oh, so he's had that probably since uh, 1997. Wow, man. Like he's had to repaint it and we just got it freshened up. Put a new set of tires on it, some uh, shocks, oil change, tuned it up. And uh, he's back now. This is good, it's funny, man. But his son is now, he has an F1 that he never did. He's got an Oz tuning on it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to uh, try to whistle on his young Billy's car. All these father son tandems. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Son, man. These it's sons. Now seeing that history repeat. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty cool.